Hey everyone, Mr. Erdreich here, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to combine two of my favorite machines, the dye sublimation printer and the laser engraver, to make custom photograph ornaments. So it's that time of year again where I'm making custom holiday gifts and who doesn't like an ornament to remember something that happened? Photograph ornaments are pretty cool. You can order them, you can make them, you can print them a million different ways. Dye sublimation printing is super popular where you buy pre-made blanks like a circle blank or something like that to print on. What I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to use the laser engraver to cut your own shapes out and combine that with dye sub printing in both 2D and 3D. So it all starts with your photograph or your design. You can use raster or vector printing. What I do is I drop my photograph into Adobe Illustrator and I create an outline. And that outline is going to be what's cut out. So I'm going to print the photograph with the dye sub printer. I'm going to cut the outline on the special material with the laser engraver. I also add a little hole for a key ring or something like a hook to hang on. If you're going to make a three-dimensional ornament, the concept's the same. Basically, you're going to cut out multiple layers. So I'm going to copy my photo multiple times and make multiple shapes, multiple outlines, and use the clipping mask tool in Adobe Illustrator to crop these to different shapes. That way I can print my layers, cut my layers, and after everything's done, glue them together. So now that we've prepared our designs, we're going to cut them out. We're using Unisub hardboard, which is prepared for dye sublimation printing, so it will adhere to the dye sub ink under the right temperatures. Before cutting out, I want to actually mask this, so I use a transfer tape or like a big masking tape, just so that way all the scorching won't damage the actual print material. Once prepared, I drop in the laser and I send those outlines I created to cut out the outside of my shapes and my ornaments. For the printing, super easy. Send it to your dye sub printer. Make sure that you have your settings correct for the type of ink you're using and the type of paper you're using and print them out. Dye sub printing is really cool. It looks like normal paper and normal ink, but under extreme heat and pressure, the ink will actually leave the paper and transfer onto whatever medium is close to it as long as the medium is uh, adherable to the ink. So ceramics work really well, polyester works really well, and different types of coated materials like dog tags and keychains or whatever it is that you might want to use. So I'm going to take my laser cut blanks and I'm actually taping them to the dye sub print material using high temperature tape. You really want to make sure this is secured because if it slides during the printing process, you're going to get a misprint. So it's not going to be aligned right and you're going to be able to tell. Once everything is prepared and taped together, we're going to put them into our press. If you have a soft t-shirt press like me, it's important that you print on a hard material because if you print into something soft, you might not get consistent pressure, you might get spotty printing. So I actually use just a piece of plywood that I print onto. So I'm laying out my designs with the ink side up, the unisub side down, so that way the heat is going to touch the uh, paper, the ink. This is not a two-sided press. These have to press for 70 seconds at 400 degrees, at least with the material and the ink that I'm using. And after pressing, I need to peel away the paper rather quickly while it's still warm, but remember this is super hot, 400 degrees, so be careful. And you want to do a quick peel. If you drag the paper across your material, you actually could smear the ink. So I want to do a quick peel, get it while it's still warm so I don't bond the paper. And now we have a pretty beautiful ornament. So this is printed, this is bonded really nicely. If you were making single layer, you'd be done. If you want to make a two layer like this, super easy. Now that you have your separate layers, drop in small dabs of super glue and adhere the layers together. Last but not least, hang it and enjoy it. So this is a really simple project, right? So designing custom photographs, super easy. Laser cutting stuff, super easy. Bonding it all together, really not that hard. And if you add the three dimensional appearance, it adds just a cool, effect to this very simple ornament. So really simple, really fun, extremely custom, and a really awesome finished product, which is why this is just one of my favorite holiday projects of all time. Now, as always, you can check out my Instructable that accompanies this video with all the different links, URLs, and greater detail to the actual project. If you want, find that below, and of course, please don't forget to subscribe.